let's talk about Wordful because I think um, there's a lot of people that go through the industry, right? And I feel like we lease our likeness and our energy to these companies, right? And then we get to a point where it's like, all right, that was cool, but I need to do something for me that I'm really yeah. meaningful. For. Talk, talk about when you were at the transition from this, you were doing like, I forget you were telling, because I felt the same way. You were at Access Hollywood. Yep. And you're Shout talking about Hollywood. you're talking about celebrities' lives, and it's like this is cool, but I have so much more yeah. to offer. I mean, it was a it was a process. It, right when I got hired at Access Hollywood, within a month, my mom was diagnosed with dementia, mm. which would turn into Alzheimer's. Mm. And I remember talking to my boss then and saying, "I think I have to quit because I'm going to care for my mom." And she said, "I'm a mom, and I don't think that's what your mom would want." And then when I talked to my dad, he almost lost his ish because he goes, "You did not." Go Some through all that college and wake up killing yourself for 10 and a half years to finally make it. And then just, he's like, if your mom was in her, you know, she, if she could have a voice in this, she wouldn't want that for you. And so uh, I stayed on and I just started to feel stressed. Mm. You know, it's, it's like you work so hard to get somewhere and then you get there. And that's why they always say, make sure you're enjoying the journey because it's, it's definitely not the destination. Oh, yeah. You get to the destination sometime and you're like, this, Damn. Is, this is it? Yeah, you're right this isn't, about that. This didn't bring me all the joy and happiness and, you know, this dream I built in my mind. So I was really getting worked when I got there. I was doing the show. I was doing red carpets. I was being sent to interviews. And so I was just consuming nonstop celebrity news and at the time I had told uh, my person I just miss storytelling I miss mm. connecting with people I miss those those real conversations we were having on the air yeah. about did you go to the Laker game last night oh yeah did this happen to me someone cut me in line and whatever it yeah, was yeah. Right. you know and so wordiful was created it was let I'm just gonna make this YouTube video or this YouTube platform, take this YouTube platform and talk about the power of one word because my mom was losing her words. Mm. And wow, so, okay. I just wanted, wow. I really wanted to connect back with the people that I had spent 10 years of my life with. That was LA. LA was so good to me. So I just, is there, you know, you see all the comments on social media. There were people always like emailing the, at the time, this website I had. Mm -hmm. And so from that, I started doing live events. And my first live event like 350 people showed up yeah. and that was that realization of, Oh, I'm not the only one who's hungry for connection. All of these people want to feel connected. That's right. really what it symbolized yeah. to me. It wasn't like, Oh, all well, these people showed up to my, it's like, no, everyone wants a sense of community. And so, you know, those little things just kind of stay with you. And as I started moving through my career, as my mom started to become more ill, I just remember standing on stage one day and I was looking into the teleprompter and my story was about Harry Styles' tattoo. And my co-host wanted to have a debate with me about it, about why she thought it was, like, uh, lame. And, I mean, it was check it was like, like I was hovering over myself thinking, what are you doing? Your mom's dying. You should be with your mom, and you should be putting something out into the world that has meaning. meaning right. Yeah. Like, what are you going to have to show for this at the end of the day? Right. Oh, maybe there'll be, like, an Emmy on your plat. And what, it's going to be cool when you guys come over and I'm – old and they've already pushed me out the, <laughs> the business and I'm like, hey guys, come look at my Emmy that's just sitting, this gold piece of right nothing that's yeah. sitting here on my shelf. And so that was kind of like, that was my wake up call was, okay, that. I need to start lining up my ducks so I can get out of here. For yeah. something more meaningful. I wanted, well, I started to realize I was enjoying creating episodes more than I was enjoying my job. Got it. And I was loving live events where it was that sense of community that mm -hmm. uh, you're making eye contact, you're seeing each other, you're hearing other people's stories more than I was enjoying sitting at the four season interviewing somebody else. Ben and Affleck about his divorce. And it's disposable, but, ain't, you know, yeah. content. It's just like, Oh, this is what happens now. And it's, it's, and I nothing. felt bad. I felt like a fraud because we had a, we'd been privileged enough to interview everybody. So by the time I got there, I just felt like I was doing the same job over again, but right. on, on camera. And I appreciated it, but I thought there should be somebody here who really wants to do this. How was those conversations with your mom when, when she was dealing with dementia? Like, could you tell, like, it was slipping or the, were you trying to make sure you had different conversations so 
Uh, in the beginning, it there's a lot of repetition. Yeah. So you know, she would ask, "How was your day?" And then you tell her, and then she, we talk about something. She said, "Well, how was your day?" And then you, you talk, and then yeah. as it progresses, I, I'll never forget one day. I spent, we were together all day long. Got there, we had breakfast, I took her outside, we sat in the sun, I read to her, we came inside. Oh, it's gonna make me so sad. We painted, we did this little painting session, and then we were listening to music. And she grabbed my hand and she said, you know, I, how did she say it? She said, if you're ever in LA, I would love to introduce you to my daughter. Oh, I really no. think that the two of you would get along. Oh, no. And, and she, oh, of course, she was referring to you. She was referring yes. to me. And in that moment, I just had to I just had to sit with it and let it digest because I didn't want to upset her. And I thought, you know, the silver lining here is if my mom met me as a complete stranger, wow. she, she would like me. Yeah.